allowing me to come by to talk with you. Um, as you may know, I have postulated myself on the US slate, which is the United St. Martin Party. And my vision is being able to address education as well as the social welfare of the citizens of this country. Um, but I don't feel like I could represent you if I don't know what you are going through. So I, I really appreciate you um, putting your position here for us to be able to document it as well as sit and have a discussion with you just to understand what life is like and what you would like to see change. So thank you for having us in. Okay. Yeah? So we're going to remain here and just have a conversation? Yes. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I have four kids. Okay. I work for Island Government as a cleaner. Okay. I went to Sundial and the Methodist Apartment Centre. Okay. And that's pretty good. What are the ages of your children? Um, 12, 11, Eight and four months. And four months. You have a four month little yes, baby. That's yes. nice. <laughs> Give me an idea of how life has been for you for the last, let's say, twelve years. Like from your first child, come on down, watch the yeah. It it's been rough. It's still there. It's been rough when you're working for private sector and you have a six month contract. It's right. very rough. So you have to be on your guard about the fourth month. You have to try and look for something else in if they're not going to renew really your contract. So it's very hard. You, you have to um, make sure you know what you're going to do when you have kids. It's been hard because then this month you will have to buy something for one and you can't buy it for the other. And then next month you have to buy it. And then, then you have GB, you have house rent, you have to look at all those things. So it, it's, it's very hard with the minimum wage. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You have to leave something and do something else. Correct. So that means you have to juggle between paying one thing or the other yeah. in order to make sure yeah, like that... this month, I right. have to juggle between cooking food and paying GB. Which one did you choose? I chose the food because the kids need to eat. It's somebody home every day. Got it. So now I have to now see how we're going to get GB to pay up this month then now. Okay. So it, it's... It's, it's a struggle and especially this month you know whereas you now the school that they go to they change the uniform they change completely everything so now you have to buy everything all over whereas years gone back you could have um, checked what they had from last year and say okay these two look good we're going to use these two and I'm going to buy three more we can do that this year wow. this year you have to do everything, everything all over right down to the gym close everything Interesting. So this month is going to be a very hard month for me. I, um, I, I, for a lot of people I assume, but for me, as in I have two going to the same school and one going to the third grade where I actually need more books now. Correct. So it's going to be hard this month. Correct. Right. Very hard. Would you be willing to share with us a little bit about their dad, their, their father? Um, is there any way he is helping you? No, he's not. He's not helping he's not. in any way. Okay. And he lives here in St. Martin, he's he, working. He lives here in St. Martin. As far as you know, he's working and everything. I ain't sure about the working part, ah, but not. he's not helping. Helping so. at all. Okay. All right. What would you like to see change? Or if there was a, a candidate or a government, more than just a candidate, but a government, um, what, what, what would be helpful to you in terms of a government caring about yourself, a person like you in, the, in your position, and then also for your children? If there is a way that they can help us, as in we can come to them and we need school stuff, they get school stuff. In some ways, something like the friend side, because on the friend side, they um, give you money for the school books. 
Right. So that then I'm coming out of your pocket. Right. Okay. And say there is a way that they can implement that. Correct. It it's it's a help. It's it's a help. Correct. So Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else about the island, and not necessarily specifically in your situation or what you're encountered, but there are just other aspects, let's say for instance in terms of the schooling for your kids or what your kids might be encountering and that's something you would like for uh, myself as a candidate as well as government to look into? Well, I would like you yeah, to look into more teachers. More teachers. Because for the last couple of years, Martin Luther King has been missing teachers. Okay, and they've been on the staff. Yeah, I personally have experienced it with my second daughter. She missed her. She was in kindergarten, her kindergarten teacher was out. Okay. Her first grade teacher was out okay. for the whole year. Second grade the whole year, the third grade the whole year. So it, it becomes a, a trend. My second, my, the eight year old, her second grade teacher was sick and she was out and nobody's there to substitute. Okay. So then what happens to the, the students? Like, what do they do so, in the class every day that they go there if the teacher's not available? Um, sit and play. Really? If they give them work, they give them maybe two sheets of work and they finish that or they aim do it because then everybody has something to do. So nobody's really checking them. them. Okay. So that, that's a problem. Okay. I, I don't know about the rest, but for me, what I do is I give my kids work in the afternoon. Nice. So I keep them up to date Correct. so they don't fall behind. Correct. So not everybody's gonna do it. Yeah. Not every parent's gonna think about it. The right. parents gonna think I send them to school to to work. Right. But then I mean everybody gets sick. Right. I understand that. But there should be more teachers to fill they, in. Yes. Got it. What do your children do after school? Well, I can't afford afternoon school. So it goes by a friend and I give them work to do. To do. Um, Excellent. Excellent. Afternoon school now becomes very expensive. Very expensive. And I can't afford it. I can't afford it. Yeah. Um, and your normal work day goes from what time to what time? How does your schedule eight, go? 8 to 4. 8 to 4 o'clock. I, I, I am not ashamed to say that I can't afford afternoon school. I would love to get them in afternoon school. Absolutely. But I cannot. If there's a way that that can happen, at least they go after the school for a reasonable price. Correct. It, it will be good. Okay. We've just had a in-depth discussion in the lives of some of our um, citizens that are having some hard times, and this is our first family. We're going to be moving on to another family to find out exactly you know where their trials and tr struggles are and to see if we can work at developing plans to assist them. I mean the A-team as well as as uh, myself being a part of the A-team we have some uh, projects and plans already in motion but again um, I can't work for the people if I'm not aware of what the people are going through. So this is the purpose of this program and being able to see what exactly we need to be doing as, as uh, parliament to make a difference in St. Martin. Aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm.